So I'm guessing that by now you have heard about YouTube changing the eligibility requirements for the YouTube Partner Program. For the longest time, you had to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to join the YouTube Partner Program and monetize your channel so that you could start making money on YouTube. But a couple months ago, YouTube made a big announcement that they were changing the eligibility requirements and they were making it so smaller channels could now join the Partner Program and start making money on YouTube. Naturally, people were really excited about this, both small creators and YouTube educators. You've probably seen quite a few videos on YouTube at this point about this big change. And while on the other hand, it is really cool that there is now the opportunity for smaller channels to start earning on YouTube, I have some concerns and some reservations about why this could potentially be actually a bad thing for small channels and not just small channels, but channels that take advantage of this opportunity. So that's what I wanted to share with you in today's video. But first of all, let's just talk about the facts of the matter. Starting in June of 2023, YouTube made this announcement about the changes to the partner program and started rolling out this opportunity to some channels to join the YouTube partner program with different eligibility requirements. So the new eligibility requirements are that you can join the partner program with just 500 subscribers, so half of the thousand previously required, and 3,000 watch hours, as opposed to 4,000, which was what was previously required. You also have to have uploaded at least three videos within the past 90 days. Now, when I first heard this news, I just thought, oh, this is great. Now smaller channels can start earning. But the more that I thought about YouTube's motivation for making these policy changes and my own experience with YouTube, the more I've felt a little bit concerned about what this could mean for creators. So to understand my concern, you first need to understand kind of how YouTube makes money. So at this point, there are quite a few different ways that YouTube is earning money, but all of the ways that YouTube earns money fall into two big buckets, two big categories. One is ad revenue and YouTube premium where people are paying to not see the ads. The other is all of these other things, memberships, shopping, super thanks, super chat, super stickers, etc. Now, the main difference that I see between these two ways that YouTube earns money is that when it comes to the advertising and the YouTube premium, those are things that YouTube itself promotes to people, where if you watch videos on YouTube at all, then YouTube is going to make money from you in one of those two ways. Everything else though is dependent on the creator. For example, you guys are not going to become a paying member of my channel unless I set up a membership and choose what benefits I'm going to offer and actually create those benefits and then promote the membership to you guys and tell you why you should sign up and pay extra money for my content. If I don't do those things, then YouTube won't earn a penny from memberships on my channel. And the same thing goes for the rest of the monetization features in that bucket. Shopping, super chats, super thanks, and super stickers, they're all things that I would need to promote as a creator to earn YouTube money. 99% of the revenue that my channel earns comes straight from ad revenue and YouTube premium. All of those other features would take more effort on my part. Now, they could be lucrative. They could make me plenty of money, but what's going to make me more money? Setting up memberships on my channel where a small percentage my YouTube partner manager has told me something like one to 5% of my subscribers might choose to become members and I have to create additional content every month or spending the time one time to create a digital product that people might be willing to pay a lot more money for because it could be a lot more valuable. I think you can see where this is going. While these various monetization features could earn me more money, there are other strategies that I use in my own business that can earn me a lot more. But over the last year or two, my partner manager, who's kind of my contact with the YouTube Partner Program, has increasingly pushed me to try to use these different features here on my channel. And I think that the reason is pretty obvious. These are all ways that YouTube could earn more money, but they won't unless I set them up and I promote them to my subscribers. So now let's talk about YouTube's motivation for opening up the YouTube Partner Program to smaller channels. As you've probably heard, the restriction on smaller channels joining the Partner Program is that they only get access to all of those monetization features. Memberships, shopping, super chat, super thanks, super stickers but they don't get access to 
ad revenue and YouTube premium revenue. And the more I've thought about it, the more it seemed like YouTube's motivation for opening up the partner program to these smaller channels probably is to get them to focus on these monetization features and to start using those features so that those features become that channel's main monetization strategy because that is what is going to make YouTube the most money. Now, personally, I don't think that there is anything wrong with YouTube making business decisions to try to make more money. I don't have any sort of problem with that. But here's where my concern comes in. As I've looked at different business strategies and experimented with different business strategies and ways to make money online, there are certainly some that are more profitable and require less effort and others that are less profitable and require more effort. And as an entrepreneur and a mom to five kids, it has really become my focus to find those strategies that are in fact the most profitable and that take the least amount of effort. And all of these strategies that make YouTube more money sadly are some of the less passive ways that you can earn money both on YouTube and online in general. And I think that YouTube's new policy of letting smaller channels into the partner program, but only giving them access to these features is going to potentially trick some of these creators into focusing on these strategies. Now, this is basically the end of my rant, but all of this is not to say that you should not join the partner program or that you should not use these features or that YouTube is bad or anything like that. I just think that you should be aware of why YouTube has probably made the decision that they have and kind of what your options are. You know, that there are different ways to earn money on YouTube and different ways to earn money with online businesses in general. And that I want you to be smart about the strategy that you pick and not just go with this strategy because it is the one that is first available to you. By all means, join the YouTube Partner Program and start taking advantage of those features. Just make sure that you have a long game strategy in mind as well. Now, one of my favorite strategies for making money online is selling digital products because they allow you to do work one time and then sell the product indefinitely. It's a highly scalable business and it can potentially produce passive income. If this sounds interesting to you and you want to learn more about how you can get started selling digital products online, then check out this video right here.